Hi there. Everybody loves a fun story about animal rescue. And we have a fun one today. I'm here with Ashley, and she's our expert on apes, including lesser apes like these gibbons. And if this isn't the cutest animal I ever saw, what's his name? This is Kip. Yeah. And how old is he? So he's 10 months old and three days. That's phenomenal. You can tell he's young because yes. he's running all around. Absolutely. Kind of giving his parents mm -hmm. trouble but they aren't really his parents, right? right? So what's going on? Right, so these are actually, we are calling them two moms. They're actually full sisters. Uh -huh. So Eminem and Skittles. Um, and he's being wild and chasing them around <laughs> right now. Um, so they actually are his surrogate mom. So he was born at the Dallas Zoo. Yeah. So his real parents unfortunately decided not to care for him. Um, so it sometimes happens among primates. Yeah. If they're first time parents, sometimes that happens. So we have to intervene and help them out and find a surrogate mom and dad or sometimes two moms for yeah. it. Now, right now it's obviously working great. They're having fun. They're living here yeah. together. When he first came, was it a lot of human TLC or how'd you get that going? Yeah, so there was. We pulled together and there was a, um, a surrogate team that helped care for Kip around the clock. So he had 24-7 yeah. care. So that's really important for primates. Um, it's certainly not something that we want to do, of course. Mm -hmm. We would rather their own mothers take care of them. Yeah. That's what's best. But when their life is at risk and they really need yeah. that extra care, we step in and we take care of it. But the goal is always to get him back with exactly. Gibbons as quickly as possible. And, and it's a success because how old was he when he came? So he was about seven months when he came. Okay. Yeah. So, so and then we he was introduced to the girls about a month after he got here. Yeah. So there was a couple more milestones he had to reach before we could introduce the girls in there. Um, but he immediately started seeing them. He could see them through a howdy mesh wall, uh -huh. basically. So they could smell each other, touch each other limitedly. Um, and we were seeing positive signs yeah. from the very beginning. So um, it was our job just to observe, to see how it was going to work or if it even was going to work. And thankfully it has. And they've been together and have been doing great ever since. So yeah. the day came that we were comfortable to put them together. And about a couple hours afterwards, they were all sleeping together. So yeah. we knew at that point it was probably going to work. Yeah. Um, but they did bond up for quite a while behind the scenes and then just this week we yeah. put him out on this habitat so as you can tell he's really enjoying himself. Well it's a great win-win and yeah. it's a neat example the zoo field has evolved <laughs> because years ago of course many times maybe out of fear keepers would take animals from their moms mm -hmm. they'd bottle feed them they'd do all these things it seemed like a good idea right but if you kept them too long, they ended up thinking they were a person right. and not a gibbon. Yeah. And so to have this so quickly turn around is great. I know you all did that with Gladys famously yep. 10 years ago. And that worked as well. He's with yes. a, er, she's with the group. So it's a neat example of zoos cooperating. Absolutely. And say, here's an endangered species. People are trying to breed them. And let's keep it going. Now, they are different. He's a white-cheeked gibbon. Yep, he's a northern white-cheeked gibbon. And these and, are buff-cheeked yeah, gibbon girls. Yeah, so long-term. Who knows, if he stays here, maybe we'll find him, yeah. mate, but that's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, so for now he's doing great and they're a fun trio, yeah. that's for it's, sure. Yeah, it's certainly a fun exhibit. So when you come to the zoo this summer, make sure you come down to Jungle Trails. You can see Kip, the young white cheek gibbon, and his surrogate parents. Ashley, thanks. This Thank was you fun. so much.